Welcome to this tutorial on Mastercam's Parallel Surface Toolpath. We're going to be programming this part right here. Um, not entirely, but I'm going to show you how to do a Parallel Surface Toolpath over this. So if we go ahead and go to our machine, mill, default, and then first thing I'm going to do is set up our stock here. And I'm going to add a bounding box, the cursor next to manual, select our solid and auto generate our stock boundary okay so let's go ahead and go into our parallel toolpath i'm going to do undefined i'm going to select this top face right here um, we don't have any check surfaces and i'm going to select okay and then i'm going to create a ball end mill a half inch ball and I'll go seven grand at 60 and 60 for the plunge as well. Retract is 250 and feed plane is 100 thou and stock to leave on the drive and check is zero. And our rough parallel parameters, I'm going to do 100 thou for our step over. I'm going to set our cutting method to zigzag and machine angle you can control which way your toolpath is going to go so if I put 90 it's going to go vertical and 0 is horizontal and you could even do 45 and whatever angle you like but I'm going to leave it at 0 because I want it to cut parallel or parallel with our x-axis and then I'm going to allow multiple plunges along cut and allow uh, negative Z motions along surface and positive Z motions along surface. And then for our cut depths, I'm going to set that to absolute and I'm going to right click and select Z coordinate of point and I'm going to select the bottom portion of our face there and I'm going to click OK and then I'm also going to click OK. So you can see the toolpath that it generated and you could see how it's hopping over our uh, pocket in the middle of this part and then it's also skipping our corner pockets here and I'm going to show you how to fill these voids by adding a surface to this so we don't um, get divots on the edge of our pockets so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you I'm going to click on our toolpath group and I'm going to hide toolpath and then in surfaces we're going to go surfaces from solids I'm going to select that top face of our solid and I'm going to select OK and then I'm going to over here on your right I'm going to select all surface entities and then right click and send that to level 2 and then in our levels tab here, we're going to set level two as our active and turn our solid invisible. So first thing I want to do is go to our wireframe and then I'm going to curve all edges and just select our surface in selection. And then I'm going to click OK. And then in our surface tab here, I'm going to go ahead and do a power surface and select the chain for our center pocket here and I'm going to click OK. And now we have that voided pocket filled. And then for these corner pockets, I'm going to select fill holes. And I'm going to select this edge and it gives us a surface over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and Sorry, click that, click the surface again, and then, oops, there we go. So you just uh, select the surface and then select the edge you want to fill. All right. So now we have um, all of our pockets filled with the surfacing, right? Okay, so if we go back to our toolpath, I'm going to select geometry. I'm going to clear our drive and then I'm going to go ahead and select all these surfaces 
and then in selection and click OK. And then I'm going to regenerate all dirty toolpaths and I'm going to unhide it. So you can see that it's no longer skipping the pockets and it's just going to drive on the top of our part here. And then I'll go ahead and go to our levels and turn our solid model level back on and then hide our surfacing. So we could see that it's just going to um, treat these pockets like they're not there, right? And that'll give you a better finish when you, when you actually mill these pockets out. But we're going to skip that for today. So if I go ahead and go back into our toolpaths and I select verify, we'll see how this is going to go. 100,000 step overs, a little bit big, but we're not actually going to machine this or anything. But you could tidy that up with just the, the uh, step over amount in your cutting parameters, right? So there you have it. That's a basic overview on parallel surfacing. Um, thanks for watching and I'll try to get another video out maybe today or tomorrow on a different toolpath. All right, take care. Bye.